as you can see I've started work on the next platform and I've only done a little bit of it so far but it already looks way better than the cardboard so for this main body panel I've got 5 8 thick PVC and I've got holes drilled throughout and a cutaway section in the back that helps lighten it up because it is very dense especially compared to that super light cardboard I was using before I've got two PVC sheets which are um, supporting the outward front wheels and it all lined up perfectly it was a little hectic doing all the measurements because I had to like hold things and uh, it is difficult because it's not you know nice uh, easy right angles but everything lined up nice and neat and I'll be covering these uh, these open edges with uh, paper or thin thin PVC to make it look a little nicer. I'm not just going to leave this open because I think that it looks a little um, unattractive the way it just drops down from this platform. So I will be having a sheet that comes from the top of these pieces. will accent this uh, uh, PVC platform or PVC uh, spinning mount just by arcing around it and continue sloping to the back. So that should help bring this whole design together and we'll see what it looks like in the end okay here's where I'm at currently I've done some work on the body and I've also worked on a claw design but I'm gonna save that and put that in a video reserved for just building the arm now as you can see I've added the rotating platform and the white piece that surrounds it is actually from uh, the sides of a lemonade mix container that I've painted white and it doesn't rotate with the platform, but it does sort of isolate that whole uh, set of messy internals that makes it spin. And other additions that I've made is I have uh, added these grips to the bottom of the bars. These are rubber nubs that I, um, I just cut the pieces, or cut the bands that went around these uh, wheels that I used for hubs into pieces and glued them onto the bottom. And I did glue them mostly towards the front, that way when it turns, um, it turns pivoting from the front and it doesn't create any torque issues with the front and back gripping and then just causing problems. Um, other additions is I do have this, uh, these back pieces of PVC and as I said before I will have a cover that will cover all this but there will be a hole in the top of the cover that will mirror the hole that's through the bottom and my electronics will be mounted to the side so there'll be sort of a column of air that can go through and if heat becomes an issue I can mount a small fan to just pump uh, air through that I don't think heat will be an issue but it's just good to have the electronics open so they can breathe I did get my uh, lithium polymer battery and it is awesome as you can see it is tiny compared to the size of the robot but it provides all the amps I need. It lasts for about 15 minutes, which is plenty of time considering the rounds are only three minutes long. And I'm just, I've never used lithium polymer before, but I'm really impressed by the, uh, the amount of energy that it can store. Um, oh yeah, you can see this tail. This tail is not uh, effective right now. I just quick put this on because it's going to be needed when getting over the wall, but this motor that I have it running on doesn't have enough torque to work. But as you can see here is a 2x6. The wall that it needs to get over is going to be 6 inches tall and 10 inches wide. So this doesn't have any width, so you can't see that part. But as you can see it will get up. And at this point, when I have my tail working, my tail will push it like that and it should be able to just go directly onto the wall and then when going over the other side it's going to be sort of uh, just it's just going to fall down the other side like that and um, yeah the uh, grips on the front of the wheels just help grip the wood and it just crawls right up so a lot of work to be done especially with uh, this tail piece because I don't have a motor that I think is going to have enough torque to lift the back end of the robot right now 
but I think I can buy something or I uh, possibly just gear this motor that I have right now down because I do have those connects gears and stuff left over so yep this is where I'm at right now